We've built a custom full mule on the Black Diamond Trail Pro shocks in the women's color here. I'm gonna show you what we had to do to make this work with this particular uh, brand trekking pole. Uh, one thing to note uh, substantially is it is very light, coming in at 1.4, just under you know 1.4 pound, and very small. It's pack uh, size is, if you were to compare it with our, our full Capra, this is our Capra on top, and um, and it's got everything in it. This is substantially smaller. So if you're looking to save uh, pack space and weight, this full mule custom build is the way to go. What we're going to set up here. Did this in a, um, this is a Dyneema grid stop in orange. And look at our tiny little frame here. All right, all it is is, a, is an H, really. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna discuss these carbon fiber sleeves here soon. But for right now, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and extend or remove um, this segment here. These uh, Black Diamond Trail Pro shocks, they, they either, this segment either is fully extended or fully retracted. There is no lock in between. So we're gonna use this trekking pole, the second segment, in the fully collapsed position. All right, fully collapsed. I'm gonna take our one of our two sleeves and remove the upper collar. It's just a little collar piece here. And we're gonna slide the trekking pole up through that. I, I just hand wrote this. This is a custom build. This is not a production model. So I just wrote up on this one with a little arrow there. And uh, we're just gonna slide it in from the bottom See where it says up, whoop, there we go. We have to put, let's put the collar on here. So this collar is gonna prevent this carbon fiber from getting, you know, chewed up from the trekking pole. So slide the collar on and then slide your other trek pole segment on there and, and lock it in position. This is meant to be set up so that the trekking pole tips go are inserted into the ground let's lock the seat back stiffener in place it should just go up in here lock i've actually found that it's much easier to put the trekking pole handle in the seat back first so you're not fighting it because it's got some of these trekking pole handles have these really you know, large hand grips that flare, and you almost have to put them in, kick it out, and then you know, get a seat there. The same thing, the flare out goes to the outboard side. Flare it out. like that. The trekking pole tips would be inserted in the ground. Your carbon fiber spacer with the 
safety stop, the collar, and your check and pull. That looks amazing. Hmm. Pack space. If pack space is important, this might be, you know, important for you to know. Look how much smaller our full mule goes. Okay, let's like two inches smaller. 